Alrighty. So, Southern McMeads Farms are prepping. What we got here is a generator. And the gas has been in there for over a year. So before it gets freezing cold, uh, what I want to do is I want to dump the gas, place it with fresh gas. And then test it how bad this gas really was. After I empty it, I'm going to put a match to it. And uh, fresh gas would go woo, real quick and bulk gas will not. So, first of all, I'm trying to get it to empty out. I won't be able to empty it all out, but I want to get most of it out. Try to see how much gas is left in there. Quite a bit still. So, I'm going to continue. Ah! The rustle is, and I'm rustling it. I'm just gonna leave it upside down here for a few minutes and uh, try to get as much as uh, bad gas out of it. And then I'll pull it away and it will light up the bad gas and it'll tell me pretty much why it wasn't started. And I want to get it started now because uh, come winter time and the freezing rain hits and the power goes out. That's not time to realize that, oh, your generator won't start. I probably need to buy a new one. I have had this one for a very long time. But uh, I'll still keep it. But it probably needs a new plug and carburetor work in that. I'm going to see if I can get it started today with fresh gas. So I got it propped up so I can drain the gas out of it. And I can already tell. There was no way that stuff was ever going to start. So after a year, the gas is no good, even with state all. So I'm draining the tank, and I'll put fresh gas in there, and hopefully that'll take care of it. So this is something you want to get done before the cold weather hits. Otherwise, well, yeah. <laughs> Otherwise, you won't want to have power. So, we'll leave it drain there for probably another five minutes so I can get as much of that bad gas out of there as I could possibly can before I uh, sit there and reconnect the fuel line. I actually had to take the fuel line off right here to get the tank to drain wouldn't drain from the top, probably some sort of safety thing, in case it tipped or whatever. So, looks like I'm about at the end. I'm going to crank it to the side a little bit. Get as much out as I can. Then I'll replace it with fresh gas. Yeah, I think that's about all I'm going to get out of there. Let me pause it. All right, so anytime you would dump that much gas in there and you throw a match on it, it should just like whoosh. Give me an idea just how bad that gas is. Let's throw a few matches on it. Probably not gonna get a whoosh. Hope I get a light. It's a little windy. It's 
I got it burning over there where I dumped it first. And see if I can get it to come over here and spread. So obviously there was gonna be no there was gonna be no uh, starting of the generator. As fresh gas would have just it went very quickly. So I knew I had to dump the gas out before I can get that started. So now I'll wheel it back up to the deck. I'll put fresh gas in there and then see if I can get it running and then check the oil. The oil should be good, but if not, I'll, I'll do an oil change too. So now, give an idea, there's a couple gallons of gas and it's barely burning. You know, it's burning more like a, you'd expect oil. So obviously there wasn't really any chance of good combustion going on. And that of course would keep it from starting it up. Okay, I didn't realize that was gonna start on the first pull. <laughs> but it did. So once I put the fresh gas in, the fire's going up. So I'm gonna let this run. For a good 15 minutes, get the oil all nice and warm, and then I'll probably go to white. And you got a gas station there, set one with the octane, and I'll put some really good gas in it. And then I'm gonna be set up for the winter. So, in the winter, when I lose power, I bring this into the kitchen and let it warm up. The generators don't like to start when they're cold. Yeah, let it sit in the house for about an hour. The house holds heat. I will start with the kitchen and bring it outside right away. And I'll be able to run my furnace and my refrigerator and freezer and most of the lights in the house. And then I have three solar generators where I can separately run the sump pump and the heaters in both the uh, bedroom. The three net and the two generators I have, I fit pretty good. I still would like my next person to find me another generator. I still have full start. I think I'll invest in all electric start. So we can take these terms and put it out. Everybody have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. A week.